So good morning. It's Saturday. We're, uh, we left the lake area, headed on out. There's a couple people up here. Uh, got there a little bit before five o'clock last night to finish up the 20. And, uh, saw the girl Fibs again. I was sitting down with her down in Bear Mountain Inn the day before. It was kind of an unexpected uh, zero, but I was I was waiting for uh, some people. Uh, Lady V was trying to come down off the trail. We had uh, hold on one second. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Good. Trying to fight the flies. Yeah, they started already. There was a couple people that passed on the trail. You can see them back there. Let me turn this around. It's actually a nice smooth walking. Hopefully it stays this way for a bit. Trying to, we're pushing about 22 miles a day. So back what I was talking about. So, and I wish I were gonna record it more of it or not recorded it and I didn't. But the girl fibs, she uh, started apparently just a couple days or, or within the week behind when I did. And David Smith, known as Swivels. Swivels is the one that gave me the trail name Resupply. Somebody I started off with at the very beginning. A real good friend through all of this. Unfortunately, he's, he's off due to injury. But it was just comical that, uh, well, not comical, but it was just kind of surprising that, uh, you, you know, some of the people that you meet out here. And here, this was somebody, she, max, she summited Max Pats, and Swivels was up there. And they had a good conversation going and everything that day. But it was just kind of nice to, you know, see all the way here in New York. And I'm meeting people that he associated with. So that was pretty good. And right away we took a picture. I texted it to him. <laughs> and then uh, he called. So I was able to put it on speakerphone. And then the three of us were able to just have a conversation at the table for a bit. And it was nice. It brightened his day. This can't always help brighten some people's day, but sometimes when you can, it's nice. So swivels. I enjoyed your company at the big beginning. Phew. This is a con. It's easy, but it's early morning. Look at this, we're getting up here. Ah. But yeah, it's nice to be able to keep in contact with with people, good friends that you meet on the trail. Uh, here's the view. There's the fog. He had power lines running through there like a lot of places here in the mountains. Well, this is kind of cool. Let me get to the other side. There's a flag. Somebody has painted up here. It's kind of cool. I think it's been touched up. But it's nice to see. Uh, normally you don't want to see graffiti all over the place. It sucks when you come up here. But this, this is a little bit different. This is kind of cool. There's the view. Looks like we're <laughs> probably at the highest point of the day. <sighs> Sorry, right. I'm gonna turn this off and I will talk to you later. Bye. Here's another view from this other climb I just did. I don't remember the name of the town. We're trying to get to today. Uh, it's up, it's up there near the top. And then uh, 
by tomorrow afternoon and today we'll be in like uh, Kent Connecticut so we'll be rolling through I'm still thinking I'll probably be in Massachusetts at the end of the day Wednesday so just trying to knock some of these miles out get a little head start I know when it gets to the whites and Maine and stuff some stuff slows down so all right I'm gonna keep going we'll talk with you later bye there's a nice view looking through the trees Still headed on down. We haven't got to a break spot yet. But it's still early. It's maybe 9.30 at, if that. So we're still headed down. Here's a nice little view after our almost two hour break. We took it to Delhi. <laughs> we got down there. It about 9.6 to get to the roadway. Almost half a mile to get down. And ended up we were probably there almost two hours. Luckily, we got a ride back to the trail, even though it was just half a mile, but when you walk as much as we do, you don't want to walk any more than you have to. So right now the trail is actually kind of nice, and you can see somebody's keeping this little section groomed nicely. They probably run the mower up through here for a little bit. It's kind of a nice little break. Most of the day hasn't been too bad. We we had some rocks near and near in the end, you know, getting to that roadway to go down for our break. But I think we still have a good 12 miles or so. I said it's pushing us about a 22 mile day to get here. There you go. Yep. I don't think I've gotten a single butterfly yet on it. There he is, flying from. <laughs> Platinum blend. <sighs> so, alright, I'm going to turn this off and we'll see you down the trail. So here's a huge tree. And this one, where's that leaf? That's, a, that's from a maple. Yeah, this is an oak. It's a huge tree. Come stand next to us so people can see how big this tree is. Lady V's gonna stand. You can kind of see. That's how huge this tree is. <laughs> it is big. So, all right, we're gonna continue on. The other two are behind us, and uh, we will talk to you later. Bye. Here's a view of the town below. I think this possibly is where we're headed. We just uh, took a swim in the lake back there. That was nice and refreshing. Uh, but yeah, just trying to get uh, get town. Apparently, there's a pavilion that we can uh, stay at. Has shower, cold showers, but has showers and such. But you can always get cold drinks when you get into town. See, can't beat that. So that's what I'm headed for. Is a nice cold drink. So, but this is the view out here. It's not bad. It's definitely cooled off finally. So it's time to head back up here and get back on the trail. And we can go get a cold drink. We'll, we'll talk with you later. Bye. This tree is the largest oak along the Appalachian Trail. Supposedly it's larger than the Kiefer Oak. That was down in Virginia. It's a pretty big tree. I'm waiting for Lady V to come out. Uh, Frank and Big Deal just got a ride into town from Megaphone and she will come back and get, pick us up. Then this way we get, uh, we'll be in town. So we did our 22 miles and change. Uh, it didn't look exactly uh, what it is. Trail wanders on up through there. Head on north. So tomorrow we'll come right back here. We'll just have to figure out how we're getting here. I guess that part's up in the air for the moment, but it's at least there's a pavilion, there's a cold shower. It'll feel good. So uh, once again, that is the tree. It is the largest 
Oak on the Appalachian Trail. It is big. We will talk to you later. Bye.